Yo, what's going on right now? You're watching FL Studio Basics, the series. Today's tutorial is going to be on a sequencer. What is a sequencer? A sequencer basically is where you put all your, all your different kicks, your claps, hi-hats, snares. This is where you assemble your beat, where you basically literally start to put it together. This right here it is a step sequencer. Each one of these boxes you see here is a step. We have different samples here, different sounds. And each one of these boxes is what pretty much just tells what this sample, like how many steps is it, it's going to hit. Now, up here we see it says pattern and song. We have the play button, stop, re record, and etc. Our main focus right now is on the sequencer though, so we're gonna fo stay focused on that. Right here, you can see there's a play button. Now it's on pattern. Now, this right here, this is pattern one, two, three, four, five, and it goes on and on and on. FL Studio is all about patterns. That's basically how you dissemble your whole beat. That's the root of creating your whole song on FL Studio. As you see right here, we're on pattern one. Now, when you want to create a step, what you do is you left click on the box. When you click on the box, it's gonna light up. Every box you create, that's gonna be like, this is a kick. So every single one of these boxes is gonna be another kick, a kick, and a kick, and a kick. So with this is the same, same thing. This is a, a percussion perk. Now, if, if we was to right click, when you right click on this menu, FL Studio designed this so that you have a menu. On this menu, you have options that are pre pre designed for you. Like this says, fill each two steps, fill each four and eight. Four steps is going to be like this. It's going to one, two, three, four, and one, and then every four steps. So. From there we have this percussion each four steps filled in now when we play this all right now we have the percussion these four steps now I'm from Philly North Philly and I hear North Philly we got like our own crazy club kind of style you know what I'm saying like that's just how how we get down so I'm gonna show y'all a little something. We got this kick right here. Put two kicks here. That probably sounds familiar. The kick. I'm not gonna tell you where it's from, but it sounds familiar. Alright. Now we got these two kicks here. We have a snare. I know it sounds familiar, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably like, damn, that sounds familiar. you will learn when you start music production like a lot of times you layer stuff like these kicks you can layer it I have another kick down here it hits hard it hits harder but because of this program you're probably not going to hear the audio right but you should be able to hear it alright now this kick right here we can right click on it and go back to this menu as menu we have all different options right now we're about to go to edit from edit you have cut copy paste shift left shift right and randomize the hot thing about the randomize is that you can actually put on the VST and it will create a pattern for you you know what I'm saying like some people I mean, like you might be just real good with doing the drums I'm saying laying the drums down but then you might not be the best with the keyboard you know what I'm saying so you can actually use this to randomize, randomize and make patterns for you but what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna go back up to this kick like I told you we're gonna create a little layer Right click, edit, copy. Now, 
Image Line was smart when it designed this FL Studio. Image Line is the creators of FL Studio. Instead of you sitting here and trying to have to press a step again and another one and, and just keep on copying this one, right click again, edit, and paste. And it's going to put the same exact steps that are up here. So, with that said, Now, all right. I ain't trying to make this hot right now. It's just for demonstrations. I'm gonna mess up on purpose a lot of times. Y'all gonna be like, "What's he doing?" But this is just all I'm trying to teach y'all. Uh, another thing with the sequencer. I know you're probably wondering, like, where do you go about laying down, like, creating your beat. Like in the sequencer, it's, a lot of times it's about the gaps you put in the spaces. Because if I was to put this like this, this kick here, this snare here, and just put this like this, it's gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not gonna be sounding right. Now, if you was to do with something like this, see what I'm saying? Like there's there's a nice enough gap in between. The kick and the snare where it hits right like you don't want it just this to sound something you know what I'm saying like when you lower your tempo you can actually get away with that like you can actually have the kicks and the snares closer to each other but we'll go over the tempo in another tutorial so let's recap or we go over everything this is sequencer right here you have all your different samples and sounds right here every time you you left click it fills in the step if you right click it takes it out so right here we're on pattern and it's gonna play just this pattern alone so after you got you have your um your whole pattern created from there we're gonna move on to the playlist so please watch the next tutorial on the playlist so we can get started on that thanks for watching